everyone, Kim here. I just got done doing all the cuts for the cards that we're going to be making at the Senior Center coming up. Um, I volunteer there once a week and we do a craft or a card. Now I always do a sample for them. So this is going to be the sample card. Let me just show you what I've done here. Um, this is a 110 pound um, weight cardstock and I went ahead and I scored all of them ahead of time for them. And we're going to put that layer right on top of that. Now this is embossed with a Sussex embossing folder. And I, I don't know the name of it. I had just recently been starting the, uh, to write the name up in the left corner there. But that's that's what it is right there. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll just glue this on. Get the little glue ooey. Um, this is Recollection. Pink Recollection cardstock. And I cut it actually at 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. Um, I had made carts with them um, before and it it's challenging for them to put the layer on so that they you know have the space that's in um, you know an equal amount of space around the card if that layer is uh, too big so I cut it down a little bit thinking that maybe that that might be better for them That's going to go like that. Okay, um, then I took some real pretty gray paper and I used this die cut. This is the um, custom craft dies from Lawn Fawn and this is the large stitched rectangle stackables. And I cut, like I said, I've cut a gray piece here. That's going to go there, but I'm going to put my flowers together first. Um, these flowers are from the Spring Cottage. Cricut cartridge and I did the base in green it's like a mint green and then we're going to do the leaves here I work better with my <clears throat> so, yeah I really work better and as I drop them um, I just need to make sure that I'm putting this on correctly yeah um, I, my tweezers and I are good friends honestly may not seem like it there a minute ago but and I'm going to put that right there And line that up. Now this isn't necessarily a shadow. Um, this is just a base that they will be putting their leaves on. And <clears throat> excuse me, I am so sorry. <clears throat> Allergy season. Um, by making it like the mint green color and then using the darker green, it kind of gives it some dimension and some color to it. And then there's this cute little yellow one. That one's going to go right there. Make sure that I'm putting it on correctly. Yep, it goes this way. Now, um, I had to make a spring themed card because um, there's different, uh, that doesn't actually go there. Um, there's different uh, nationalities, different religions of people that attend this class, and I, I didn't want it to. Um, you know, I just wanted to make kind of a generic spring card. Um, this is basil cardstock <clears throat> that I used for the lavender and the yellow. I may have put that on wrong, but I'm going to leave it. This is just a sample. <clears throat> My goodness, I am so sorry. I need to get a drink of water or something. I've got goopy, goopy in my throat. I'm going to leave a little bit of space up here so that it's not, you know, all the way down here with this big blank space. But I don't want to do too much because I'm going to put a butterfly there as well. It's going to kind of go right there. This butterfly is um, from Martha Stewart. It's a Martha Stewart punch and I like the size of this. I do have um, another butterfly punch. It's a little bit bigger. And then there's lots and lots of butterfly die kits um, on both the Silhouette Library and the um, Cricut Design Space, or the Cricut Library, I guess you would call it. Now this has got some texture to it, so we got to be careful with that. And I'm going to put about right there because I do have a banner that I'm going to be putting on top of that as well. So let's give that a good push, make sure that that stays on with all that embossing on there. Now this spring has sprung. Stamp comes from My Craft Spot Butterfly Kisses. 
and I just stamped it on the banner like so and then I used you know just this random little flower that I have in my stash um, just having the words on there looked really plain it needed something and this die cut is a spellbinders die cut and it comes with um, four other banner shapes and you, are, you know if you're thinking well why didn't she just use her Cricut because my Explore is sick it is it uh, was acting up yesterday and I called them and they told me what to do and then this morning I went to turn it on and it's making clicking noises um, as it's just sitting there on so I'll be calling them tomorrow because today is Sunday <clears throat> excuse me all right so that is the card um, just you know playing on the inside and I think they'll have a lot of fun putting this together thanks so much for watching have a great day